This video is designed for people who want to get started making their own um, 3D animations using Blender. It's designed for students who come along to a, a lunch club, Club 3D, at Manor Church of England Academy at York. But hopefully it should be useful for anyone who's just getting started, wanting to, to make their own animations in Blender. So this video talks you through how to make a simple um, little sort of uh, USS Enterprise type spacecraft. Um, and then we're going to animate it by making it fly around the screen. So to get started, we want to get rid of the cube in Blender. So right click an X to delete it. Um, and we're gonna add in its place, we'll start with an empty and an image. This will let us um, see uh, a reference image, we call it, something to help us um, make our USS Enterprise. Um, so we've added the empty, it looks like just a sort of um, empty rectangle. If we click on the object data, it looks like three axes, X, Y, and Z. And press open. I've just downloaded a, um, a picture and resized it to make it a little bit smaller. You can use any one. I'm sure if you search for um, enterprise, you'll find something similar to this. Um, there we go. So I'll rotate it so that it's facing um, forwards uh, rather than just on the, the ground plane. So I want to rotate it around the red line. The red line is the X coordinate. So R, X, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis. Okay, so we're going to use this to design our own enterprise. It's not going to look as good as this because we just want to make something quick and simple that we can make fly around. By all means, you spend loads more time making it look better than this tutorial. Okay, so I've left click to move the cursor over here. Shift and A. We'll start with a mesh which is going to be a cylinder. It's far too big to begin with. Um, so control and mouse wheel to, um, to zoom out. Uh, make it a bit smaller and rotate it around the green axis which is Y. So R, Y, 90. Make it smaller again. Um, and then S and X to stretch it out a little bit. And then we'll go into edit mode and do some finer detail. Okay, so we want the rear end of the spacecraft to be a little bit thinner. So let's go into face mode. That's control tab, face mode. Right click and then S for scale. Let's make that a bit smaller there. Um, and then we want a sort of glowing front. So right click E, drag it out a little bit. E's for extrude. Um, S for scale, don't know what happened there, sorry. S for scale, drag it in. And then E to extrude again. And S to make it smaller. That's probably too far, so G, um, X, and I'll just move it back in a bit. There we go, okay. Um, I'll probably just smooth the edge at the back as well. So right click, E to extrude, and S to make it a bit smaller. There we go. So we've got this bit of the spacecraft. I'm afraid I'm not enough of a, a Trekkie to know what every part of the, the Enterprise is. Um, but if you know, I'm sure you can post a comment on, on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna draw these bits now, the bits that support like the engine things to the body thing. Um, sorry not to be more technical. Um, we're gonna draw a loop cut, which is Control R, and then click over um, the middle of the body and then click again over here control R to get another loop cut and another one fairly close to it so that we can get part of the, um, the spacecraft body to drag out okay let's get a bit closer make it so that we're looking down the top of it and make sure we're in face mode still uh, I'm gonna go for the that's the one closest to the middle on the right. Let's go for one, two, three. I'm going to go for the fourth one out um, and extrude that. And I want to look down um, the bottom left of the screen. There's some numbers that are changing. Um, they're kind of 0 0.1 at the moment. So with this part of help, I can't get my mouse. So with this part of the screen. Um, so I'm watching those numbers so that I can get the other one exactly the same size. So about 0 0.1. 8 would be all right. So let's type that 0.18, enter. Let's get the other one. So start counting from the middle 
not the ones on the left, that's one, two, three, four, right click on the fourth one out, E, 0.18, enter. Okay, so we've got the spiky bits. Um, next, we're gonna want some more cylinders attached to them. Okay, um, so I'm gonna left click just over the top of one of them, Shift A to add, let's add a cylinder. Scale it down so it's smaller with S. Rotate it 90 degrees around the Y axis, so that's R, Y, 90. Um, I need to squidge it a bit more. And then S for scale, X direction, make it a bit longer. And according to the reference image, it looks like you have more of the cylinder at the back than you do at the front. So G, X to grab it in the X direction. I'm going to go into quad view, that's Control, Alt and Q, just so that you can see it from different angles to position it in the right place. Um, and I want to make sure it's dead on top of and just in the right place. That looks good to me. Okay, um, so I'll get one right and then we'll copy the other one over. It still looks like it's perhaps a bit too big, so I'll scale it down. Is it still connected? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, um, we'll smooth out the front in the same way that we did here. So I've right clicked to select it, E to drag it out a bit, S to scale it down, and then E again, S to scale it down. That'll do. Um, all right, so we want to select a copy of this one and copy it over. Uh, I'm gonna press L on the keyboard um, uh, until it selects everything. L is short for link, so it selects um, whatever is linked to um, the face that we've got selected at the moment. Shift D will duplicate, and I wanna duplicate it in line with the Y axis until it's just over the other pointy thing. There we go, that'll do. Um, so now we want um, this bit um, that comes out of the front of the, uh, the main part of the spacecraft. So for this, we're gonna use the knife tool. We could do this with loop cuts again, um, but it's useful to know how to use the knife. Let's get um, a view from the top and here we go. Right, these two faces in the middle, we're gonna slice along here and along here. And we use that with the knife tool, which is K. So click once to start, click again, um, and then click and click, and then enter actually makes the cuts. So click, 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 and then enter. Okay, that just means that we've got these um, faces now that we can extrude out. So I've right clicked on one, held down shift, and right clicked on the other. Zoom out so we can see what's going on. Um, and ex extrude these up a little bit. Um, scale them. And then grab them forward, so G and then X so that there, um, what is that? Looks like it's a bit, um, it looks like the whole thing should come a bit further forward. So G, X, yeah, that'll do. Um, probably a bit too high, so G, Z, let's bring it down. There we go, okay. Right, we want this cylinder bit on top, and then we should be done. So, Shift A, add a cylinder, make it smaller with S, S Z, make it nice and thin. Then scale the whole thing up. S Z again, still too um, deep. There we go, we get in there. Um, you move it forwards, so that's G X. There we go. And it looks like it's kind of a smooth curve going down, like a triangular shape. Um, so I'll right click to select this face. Um, e to extrude. And then S to scale it down. Okay, so we've got a, a reasonable um, sort of enterprise-ish um, shape. I'm gonna tilt this bit up a little bit. So let's press L to um, select all of this, what was a cylinder, and I'll rotate it around the, uh, I think it's the Y axis, 
ever so slightly, not much. Just so it's a little bit tilted and I think I probably need to move it a little bit further up. So that's G and then Z. Okay. All right, we'll just put some simple textures on. Nothing fancy, but just so that we've got different materials. Um, like I'm gonna get an, an orange glow at the front of here, here and the other side too. So um, let's go on the materials tab. Let's make a new material, um, get a sort of spacecrafty gray. Um, I'm going to call it space craft. Um, select everything with A until it all goes at orange and assign um, that material to all of the faces. Now we'll just select the bits that we want um, to be a different color. So let's make a new material, let's go for something sort of orangey over here. Yeah, that'll do. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to select this one. And then I haven't got a numpad, so I have to press space and then type more. If you have got a numpad, you can do control numpad plus. But otherwise, space and then type in more. It's quite a good way of just being able to select the things around um, what you had selected before. But then we've got to assign that material to those faces and I'll do the same over here. So right click, space, more, assign. And then the same over the other side, right click, space, more, click on orange and assign. There we go. All right, two final steps. Um, I'm gonna go back into object mode and delete this reference image, X. Uh, right click on the object. I'm gonna bring up the tools panel by pressing T shade it smooth so we don't see um, like the different edges. And finally we'll just add a um, subdivision surface modifier um, to smooth everything down. Um, so add, um, click on the little spanner to add a modifier, go on subdivision surface which just kind of smooths things down a little bit. There we go. I'm going to go for view of two. Okay, so now we've got our spacecraft, um, we can start animating. So, um, for this, um, hopefully you'll have seen uh, the YouTube video already about just adding keyframes in, but I'll go through that really quickly. Um, the idea is you want to position where you want um, the spacecraft to start or your object to start. Press I and it, um, I go for location, rotation, and scale to remember where it is, which direction it's facing, and how big it is. Move a little bit further on your timeline, so say over here, um, and you can move your spacecraft, and then I to remember where it is at that point, and wherever you add a keyframe, um, you get this sort of yellow line. So now, hopefully, your spacecraft should be moving around. Um, and then a little bit later we can move on maybe and uh, let's rotate it around the z-axis. Um, and move it a little bit further away. I, lock rot scale. And then further away, um, let's just move it off screen and remember where it is. Okay, so let's get back to the beginning and watch the animation. You can see the spacecraft kind of moving across. And the great thing about Blender is it will put in all of the individual frames between your keyframes. So keyframes are just where changes happen. Um, and then hopefully it should twizzle around and fly away. Um, so that's fine, unless you start making a mistake with your animation, you want to, to change it because it's very difficult to change your keyframes just with this view. If you want to start doing that, we need to um, to use the dope sheet, which the easiest way to do it is click up on here and go to animation. Um, and this is your dope sheet here. The dope sheet, I've got no idea why it's called a dope sheet. If anybody knows, um, please do post a comment on this video. Um, but you can see on here, we've got the same timeline in frames. Remember, it's 
24 frames per second normally um, and we can right click on these to select them and grab them to make the animation last longer or um, you can select more than one and scale them to stretch them out or you can press X to delete I'm not going to bother doing that um, so if you want to change your animation the dope sheet is a brilliant way of doing that because you can select individual um, keyframes move them around a little bit or delete them until everything is where you want it to be okay so hopefully this video has covered a little bit of how to make your own model um, and enough of how to add keyframes in um, until your objects move around as you want them. So get animating, see what you can create um, and put a message on this video if it's been useful uh, or if there's anything that you anything else you want me to cover. Thanks. Bye bye.